The member for Dawson. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. My question is to the Deputy Prime Minister and Minister for Infrastructure, Transport and Regional Development. Will the Deputy Prime Minister update the House on how strong economic management allows this government to invest in regional Australia and help make our roads safer and boost productivity? What are the risks and what is at stake if our plan to invest in regional roads and productivity is not delivered? The Deputy Prime Minister has the call. Well, uh, thank you, uh, Mr. Speaker, and I'm delighted to take this question from the member for Dawson, a very hard-working Queenslander, somebody who uh, understands that when the regions are strong, uh, so too is our nation. Uh, he's getting on with the job of uh, uh, lobbying and agitating for the roads that he wants in his electorate, and he's doing a darn fine job there too. And we know on this side of the house that good economic management uh, helps to small businesses grow. Those uh, great employers, those wonderful businesses who get behind our nation, uh, who get behind our regions, uh, particularly in uh, the member for Dawson's electorate. And good economic management helps create jobs, a million jobs, a million jobs created uh, in the first five years of our government, uh, Mr. Speaker. And good economic management enables us to uh, to invest in the roads and the infrastructure that regional Australia wants, needs, demands and, uh, best of all, and most of all, deserves. That's what exactly uh, this, job, this, this government is doing. At the weekend, I announced the guidelines uh, in Manjimup, in uh, Western Australia, for the Roads of Strategic Importance Initiative. It's a $3.5 billion investment in making country roads safer. And whether it's that first mile or that last mile or all those, uh, all those in between, it's going to make sure that uh, our freight task, was, which is expected to double up to 2030, those needs are addressed. Uh, it's an investment to boost productivity, as the member for Dawson full well knows, to get people home sooner and safer, to help get the mining wealth, the food and fibre to our ports, to our markets. We're growing our markets. The, uh, the trade uh, minister, his assistant minister, are doing an outstanding job in that regard. It also has a specific $1.5 billion investment in northern Australia, making sure that the North continues its critical role in boosting the productivity of our nation. And it follows our $10 billion investment in that uh, marvellous 1,679-kilometre road, the Bruce Highway, finally ending the talk and delivering the highway that Queensland is indeed all the nation needs. Mr Speaker, $800 million in the Kuroi de Kara section. I know how, much, how important that is for the member for Wide Bay. It's delivering the Mackay Ring Road Stage 1 and the Horton River Bridge upgrade projects, totalling more than a billion dollars. I spoke to Lynn McLaughlin, the mayor up there the other day, just last week when I was with the member for Dawson. She knows how important that is. She also, and as does the member for for uh, Dawson about the Bowen Road Bridge, a $3.3 million investment uh, from the federal government at Townsville. At Townsville. Now, the member for uh, Dawson and the coalition government, the Liberals and Nationals, understand that all this, all this will, be, will go to waste if those opposite ever get into government. The Building Better Regions, the Roads of Strategic Importance, the Beef Road Initiative, they'll all go to waste, they'll all be dropped and stopped if ever those get into government. Woe betide if ever that happens. The Deputy Prime Minister's time has concluded.